Here is another skin because it's squamous, because you could see a keratinized layer. And you really can't see much by way of skin appendages like sweat glands or sebaceous glands or hair follicles because this just might be a part of the skin that has no hair, like perhaps the end of the penis, which this is. This is another skin of penis case. Notice there's a nice papillary dermis. Notice there's a nice thicker reticular dermis. Notice that there's a lot of uh, blood uh, vessels in here as well. They do not look like your classical uh, corpus uh, cavernosum, uh, but nevertheless, it is fibrous tissue with a good degree of vascularity. Also notice in this particular uh, piece of skin that there are some inflammatory changes, much more than there should be. You can see these little inflammatory cells. They look mostly like lymphocytes to me at this stage. But let's zip in a little bit and see if I'm right. Uh, I think so. I think maybe there might be some uh, neutrophils here. But for the most part, these look like plasma cells and lymphocytes. So let's go back now and look at what is really going on. Once again, we see a uh, maturation pattern in the epidermis which is uh, not normal. You have a lot of big, as well as dark, bumpy, and irregular cells, not only up at the surface, but throughout the full thickness of it. You already know, you already sense that this is a dysplastic process, perhaps not as uh, great as classical carcinoma in situ, but perhaps it is. It depends on what pathologist you want to ask. Uh, Sometimes, if you want to appear extremely brilliant, smart, and cultured, rather than talking about the disease process itself, which is severe precancer or severe dysplasia or carcinoma in situ, you might want to impress people by either using French words or um, words that have a Q in them, because if you do, then you sound a lot smarter. So this particular type of uh, dysplastic skin process in the penis sometimes is used by snobs uh, as the term erythroplasia of Quayrat, Q-U-E-Y-R-A-T. And it really, all it means is that it's another form of uh, either severe dysplasia or squamous cell carcinoma in situ. I don't care what the difference is, but you, what I do care about is that if you trace these little reti pegs all around very, very, very closely, you'll see that they are limited. They are not infiltrated by these epithelial uh, proliferations. That's why you can correctly say that, whatever you want to call this, it is not an infiltrating squamous cell carcinoma. Thank you very much.